me do that? No way. <laughs> so in December 1988, I was in Dallas, and a friend of mine took me to the craft uh, quilt show, Dallas quilt show. It was amazing. And he said, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, sure, right. No, I don't think so. I mean, I could knit, and I could embroider, and I can sew, but I am not messing around with those little fiddly pieces of fabric. So <laughs> a couple years later when some coworkers said, oh, when did you learn how to quilt? I ate my words because I knew there'd be spicy gossip I would get nowhere else. And, you know, I was, I was on this Antarsia kick in knitting, and it was like 35 colors in a scarf, really? And I got hooked. And, yes, the gossip was really spicy. It was definitely worth my time. I kind of started out with that whole bed quilt thing and following patterns. You buy a pattern for each quilt, and I left that in the dust, and I was just all about color, color, color. And it's like 20 years later, and I'm still all about color. But really, in my quilts, things have changed a lot, partly because I'm multi-craftual, I think. And, or a textophiliac. I don't mind calling myself that, too. <laughs> Um, about the time when I started letting everything go, getting a really great stash of American patchwork cottons, we moved to Rome. Not a lot of American patchwork cotton there. And I really still liked working with cotton. And so I bought dozens of yards of Batiste, and I started dyeing and sampling, and I started going, oh my god, there's just everything around me has changed. Even the color of the sky is different than what I was used to in Seattle. It was just an overwhelming experience, and I said, that's it. All my quilts from now on are all going to be about seizing the day, just what catches my eye. And so I just dyed and made a lot of landscape quilts and was trying to really open my eyes to what I'm seeing. Like, now I see all these little green squares. I'm like, oh, wow, what a great pattern for a quilt. But that idea of keeping my mind open is really what I, I'm not going to be distracted. I'm going to stay on the quilt that I am now, and I'm going to follow through. And I was having a great time with all this dyeing, and then we moved to Milan. And my new studio space, it was fantastic. It was so spacious. It was centrally located with really no plumbing and no outdoor access, which made dyeing fabric pretty impossible. <laughs> so I was very lucky because northern Italy is like fabric heaven. And OK, so what it was, American patchwork cotton, that was OK. I just loved dipping myself into all the fabric that was there. And my favorite fabric store always give you a little thank you remnant. So I'd end up with bits of micro suede or wool or metallic or funky knits in my quilts. And that's still going on now. I'm trying really hard to make myself just seize the day, to really open my eyes. Because if you've been on the tea lately, what are they doing? Everybody's looking at their phone. They're tweeting. They're on Facebook. They have no idea what's going on. I mean, when you walked out the door today, what did you notice? And so I'm really hoping that you guys will take, no matter what your crafty thing is, seize the day. Because there's so much going around, and we really do have so much that's going on inside of us that's really easy to just slide right by. And I think uh, there's an opportunity lost there. Um, I think it, uh, it was Horace who said, scale back your long time to a short period. As we are talking, the time is running away from us. Seize the day. Trust little in the future. And that's something that we generally don't do all the time. So my name is Alana Nelson. I do run a tour operator, among other things. And whether we take people to Italy and we give you a 10-day break where you just totally disconnect from your life, or whether we go over to Northampton for the day, I think travel is another great way of just going back to your regular space and having new eyes and resetting your senses and using your creative ideas in a different way. So go out and create. Thank you very much. <laughs>